This. All right. It's Big Brother. <laughs> Titi. Wow. Tell us who we have next on the show. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> my channel is the best. Big no, Brother. No, 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 no. no. That really? was, I, you didn't hear anything. Really? Titi, please. You didn't hear anything. Uh, we did. We did. <laughs> All right. Join that us on the show. That was audition. We should this cut morning. that clip. Nah, you did For auditioning. Uh, speaking about auditioning, this is someone who does not need to audition for voice over acting. <coughs> Mm. AGK Ibidilo is one of the most notable voices you can find in Nigeria. He's an Hollywood actor and the first voice of Big Brother Niger. He is also a radio broadcaster at Cool FM Lagos and, of course, an events host as well as influencer. Mm. Presently, he's extra yeah, He's busy. working on quite a lot of movies. It's great to have you. Uh, welcome, AGK. You're welcome. Ooh. AGK, from the broadcaster to Big Brother, now movies and all of that. Mm. Um, the, let, let's talk about career progression, you know, starting <sighs> up until now. Uh, let's talk about your career progression. <laughs> well, <laughs> first and foremost, thank you. Thank, thank you guys for having me. Mm. I'm, I'm thinking, why don't you wait until I write a book? It will be a bestseller. <laughs> it will uh, be. Because it's, it's, it will be, but you're just going to give us, <laughs> no, uh, just a little bit, you know, Some sure. the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Oh, well, um... It started off from it, it, it all started off from Surulere, you know. Uh, I've told the story severally and granted interviews. I I used to just be just another uh, guy in the neighborhood, you know. And um, then I was in Unilag, and one day I went for the, the Gladiator show was, uh, you know, <laughs> MTN Gladiator. You remember? <laughs> like, look at her laughing. This one. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so so me. we got to. The, the national stadium, and then we started. Uh, we were, uh, it was like kind of audition or practice for the show. So while this was going on, I, there was a lady. I, 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 I don't know where that lady is now. She was within earshot while I was talking to people. And then the woman sent for me. She was breastfeeding her baby. Wow. And then she sent for me, said, come, call that young man. So I said, what do you do? I said, I'm a student. So what are you here for? I said, I'm here for the show. I'm, try I'm, tr I'm trying for the show. And she said, um, so you're not on the radio? You're not making a living with your voice? I said, N what is it about my voice? She said, then go away if you don't know you are a failure. Or wow. you're, you know, wow. I, she, she didn't mean it the way it came out. Uh, but mm -hmm. I, I said, ah, what? So I got back home, started mulling over it. And then my cousin came by. That evening, and I told her, I said, this is what this strange lady told me. And he said, okay, this, is, this must be what she meant. That was how the journey began. He gave me a contact to some people, you know, the voiceover people there in this area. And then yeah. I started doing voices for products, mm -hmm. you know, I started voice. I met Dari Atalade, and then, you know, and then um, somehow I got to the radio. That's another story entirely, but I, <laughs> I had gone to train as a, a voice person and as an actor, you know, so I can deliver my line at uh, the Radio Nigeria uh, FRCN training, training, training School. school. Yeah, so wow. while there, I had gone for internship at Cool FM. And I, the, I was retained, and then the journey began on radio. On radio. Uh, oh, wow. Amazing so, stuff. There's, From, everyone has a story. Yeah. Everyone has that launch pad, that yeah. ginger, something that pushed them out there. But the thing is, the money didn't start rolling in from there. You know, that wasn't like the... What, what was the, the height for you? What was the pinnacle? A pinnacle in terms of uh, money? Yeah. You're telling me, Boman, about talking about... <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, it was, just, it, I, it was just about passion, you know. Uh, I had met the late Dan Foster, God bless his... So, and um, we were, he told me about, he told me something, he said, you do the job, and then the money and everything else will follow. So it was all about passion then, nothing, I wasn't looking at the money, I just wanted to, you know, do what I, I loved best. And um, in the process, uh, I left the radio, uh, you know, after a few years, like five years thereabouts, and then um, Big Brother came. So that, you need to you need to actually do that voice. You know you know we can't allow you not. Hey, to well, I need that. I need housemates. So are you going to be the housemate? <laughs> we'll have get housemates? to that. We'll use that voice. <laughs> again. But you see, there's something I just wanted to ask. You know, after all, but well, by the time you did Big Brother and all of that, there, there was quite a while when you were not so much on the scene. It was like a little bit of a hiatus, and then it's like you're coming back with some strong force. So what happened? Why did it seem? I do I wouldn't want to say that you were not. Why did it seem as though you were not on the scene? 
and uh, there's now a Wasin GK now everywhere. Oh, he's now here, he's acting, he's doing and all that. What, what, what happened during those, that, that period? Well, I, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't know. I've always been there. Mm. Uh, after Big Brother, uh, when I left the show, uh, there was a little bit of, like you said, a hiatus, but it wasn't intentional. There's also family, you know, uh, you know and then uh, I needed to reinvent myself which is very important and acting has always been my first love so i decided to go back to the drawing board mm. and then come up stronger in, uh, in in nollywood because nollywood is my first love nollywood it is. is yes nollywood is mm. everything to me radio is secondary oh. and um you know and big brother wasn't even in the picture at all and um it, it just happened it just happened, so... It just happened, and it just went like that also. Oh, well... We were blown away by the voice, and the, the voice... We, by the time we started seeing subsequent voices, there were always... There was always this comparison to that first voice, and then yeah. voices started coming in and all of that. Yeah. Uh, it, it was married in some sort of a controversy. Can you tell us a bit about that story? Well, it's not... It's not the, job, the job is not for the faint-hearted, I must tell you. It's, it's, it's a very difficult... One of the most difficult things I've, I've ever done. It's... Uh... Uh... In terms of comparisons, I, I don't know. I am just me, and everybody can be the same, you know. But why, the, the, how, how did you leave? How did I leave? Um, Big Brother, well, why, how and why? Um, after the, the last the season I was on, um, nothing really... I, I, wasn't, I wasn't... I had a seasonal contracts, like every season. No? So it wasn't as if it was a long-term thing. So in the end, uh, when I, I left... I wasn't contacted, mm -mm. Okay. really, until the producer from South Africa uh, contacted me somehow on her own and mm. said, OK, we're taking the show on a different, on another direction. So the producers are saying we have to change the voice. And I said, oh, OK. You know, I had made lots of sacrifices for the show. You know, the show had been on its hiatus, Big Brother Nigeria. And then uh, the thing that I left Nigeria then without contracts nothing written because i was told that oh please you know let's get things started we have limited time and all of that so i, I wasn't contacted so i just looked around me and said, i said fine it's okay uh and then there were people coming to me saying oh why are you not on the show get back to the show please people were insinuating that it's money i mm. said no it's it has nothing to do with money i i am a thoroughbred professional Mm. I can give you my life when it comes to my job, but uh, you also have to do your part. And mm. um, th there were certain things that weren't really, really, really um, attended to okay. uh, rega uh, re regarding how my, my, my contract and deal was handled. Okay. Um, I wasn't also properly represented, to be honest. And mm. then um, just because, you know, in Nigeria, there's a way we do, there is a way we do our things. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then... Um, so I, I wanted to touch on something, okay. you know, um, as, as, as quickly as possible. We won't take long on this. Um, that, you know, you created a sort of template. Okay. But then, you know, there are some things that become like a launch pad. Mm. Um, and in the industry we find ourselves in now, um, do you have any regrets of being on the show? None whatsoever. I would never. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's an opportunity of a lifetime, which I luckily, I was lucky and blessed to take it in the manner which I did and then left that impression on people and the fans. And I want to thank people for the way they received me and uh, even without knowing me. It's a show, it's a role that entails a lot of discipline, a lot of consistency, a lot of composure. Yeah. In the, it's a live show, no second takes. Any, any mistake or mess you make goes out there. So it's, it's nerve wracking to be in that booth and then talk but, to people who can see you and then with so much authority and consistency. We'll still be with you. We yeah. have to hear this voice in song. Ah. If, you were to, if you were to sing, just tell me which artist, which song would you do? What song would you do? I used to be in the choir oh. in, the, in those days. So, so I, I, I don't know. Which I, song? Just, you just pick something. Anyone. Oh, don't no, no, anyone. Me, oh. The one my, that you think that you can. My girl try me. Uh, <laughs> okay. My Educate with us, anyone. Well, <laughs> when we get back, we have Sugar the Mystery. He's going to be here. We're doing <laughs> some karaoke as part of a game. Jake will be part of us. Mazino, of course, will be here. Yeah. Mazino is ready to blow our minds. He's, he's, he's prepared the whole night for this one. I'm very sure of that. That's part of why the car had flat tire. Uh. We'll be back after this break.